Hello Capricorn and welcome. I'm Adriana. I'm a soul guidance coach who helps sensitive, self-reflective souls choose maximum growth inside and out. I've got an intuitive reading for you today about your spiritual path and can't wait to get started. So let's get, let's get moving. We are doing an inside outside reading that looks at your inner world and the way it's interacting with the outside world. Let me just tune in to see which way we're drawing the cards, left to right. Okay, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, the Lord, so double fours on the inside, and Eight of Swords on the outside. Okay, right away, Capricorn, we've got a lot of swords going on. If you're also a reader, you know what that means, perhaps. But there's a lot of thought energy, a lot of con conceptual energy going on, maybe rather than concrete or emotional. So let's, let's get a little deeper. Okay, tell me to start on the outside. Ten of Swords and Eight of Swords. This is really interesting, Capricorn. Now, is this the Capricorn or is this the environment? Okay, you're telling me it's the interaction. So, our Ten of Swords, hmm, it's coming through as an ending that really was not welcome. So, you, you know, it needed to happen, but either the parties involved were not ready or it came as a bit of a shock or wasn't the time that you wanted it to end or the other person wanted it to end. There's a, it's kind of a disagreement about this ending. And the Eight of Swords is trying to keep whatever this was, the situation or perhaps it's a relationship or something like that. It's trying to actually keep it alive, but it's being kept alive only in the mind. There's really nothing tangible about this situation. It's, it's kind of like it's clear that it's done, but because we didn't want to let it go or the other person wasn't ready or it's just, it's not a clean break. There's still some hangover or some hang up going on. I'm going to use the word hang up because this eight of swords keeps walking around in this fog, in this maze, and it, it knows it can get out. You see, she can get out any, anytime she wants but she continues to stay trapped in this situation. It's kind of feeling like one or more of the parties are, are not ready to fly. They're not ready to leave the nest or go out on their own. There's a reluctance to, to move on. And that's why we're, we're going back and holding on to it. Okay, let's look at your inside. We've got the Four of Swords and the Lord, and I'm very interested by this double four because the Lord is number four in our tarot deck. Okay, Capricorn, these energies are coming through as very stubborn and wanting to hold. So mentally holding on to something, mentally not willing to let it go even though it's gone, even though it's done and it's ready to move on. Do you see the stagnant nature of these two cards? How this guy is just sitting, this one's sitting, and this, this sword across here is preventing the action. There's, there's a really, this has such a strong hold on you and it's not allowing you to flow. Or perhaps I ought to say, you're not allowing you to flow or move on or keep going. There's just a stubbornness, a clinging to whatever it was because of being unwilling to let go. Four is a very interesting number in numerology. It talks a lot about stability, but on the other side of stability is stagnation. And on the other side of having a foundation is being too rigid. And we have those shadow themes going on here, the negativity, the stagnation, the, um, the rigidity happening. I want to ask for an advice card because I'm not quite seeing where they want you to go with this. 
I have my own ideas, but I want to give you the, the channel. <laughs> All right, death. Let this go. Understand this time and this situation as a transition to something better. There's something new that's going to be reborn. And if you keep staying in the old place, rehashing the old patterns, you're never going to get to that new. I really, the death card is one of my favorite cards in the deck, no matter what deck we're talking about, because it says to me, clean slate. The old is being transformed into something new and we've never, you never lose anything. It's impossible to really have loss in this world because of the laws of physics. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It's just transmuted. It's just transformed into something else. And a lot of times we're so afraid of the death card because we don't know what's on the other side of the door. We don't know who we're going to come become. We don't know what's waiting. We don't know what opportunity might be there, what it's going to look like or smell like or taste like. And so there's a fear there with the death card and there's a tendency to grip even stronger. And you know, it's interesting, isn't it? Four plus four is eight. And the death card is card number 13, which is also a four. <laughs> You're getting head over the head with fours here, but really what we want is a one, a clean slate, a new start. This death is having is asking you to take this energy, take this stubborn energy and just move it forward and say, all right, I am letting go. I'm going to allow this energy to help me create and attract that new thing that is going to be so much better for me than the old thing was. This is about getting on board with transmuting. This is getting on board with moving and transforming. Letting go in order to create and arise new out of this cauldron. There's a myth associated with this card in this deck where you could soldiers that were maimed in battle or perhaps killed and cut into pieces could be put into this cauldron and then it was a magical cauldron and they would spring out whole again. So we're trying to do. You've been literally, the situation has been cut to pieces and it's time to just throw it into this cauldron and wait to see what comes out. It's going to be beneficial, Capricorn. You can trust that. You can absolutely trust it's going to be good for you no matter what it is. Even if it doesn't seem like that at first, in the long run, it will be good for you. So if that helps you trust and that helps you move it forward, um, <laughs> yeah, I suggest meditating on that for a while. Okay, that will do it for this week. Thank you for sharing that with me um, and thank you for joining me. I do love doing these readings for you. I am also currently offering private one-on-one -on -one readings, intuitive readings through Zoom. I'm also offering coaching sessions and you can learn more at soulguidancewithadriana.com. There is a link in the description below. I will look forward to seeing you next week right here. Have a good one.